every commercial kitchen is going to have an exhaust hood just like you see here. Now what a lot of people don't understand is the exhaust hood itself doesn't do much but can capture all the smoke and grease that comes up off the cooking equipment. The real work is done by the hood filters located in the back. They're going to collect all the grease so it doesn't enter into the duct system and end up on your roof. And should there be a fire, it's going to act as a barrier so that fire doesn't go up into the duct. Now what people don't understand, even in the restaurant industry, is just because the hood itself is ETL or UL listed, that doesn't necessarily mean that the filters are. Now why that is, is because every few years you're going to need to replace those filters. They wear out just like the tires on your car wear out and you have to replace them. Now, there's a lot of filters on the market that have never been tested by ETL or UL laboratories and therefore you really don't know if they work, but they're super cheap and restaurants are buying them and using them. So one thing you need to consider is just because the hood itself is ETL or UL listed, you have no idea if the filters that they've replaced since purchasing the hood are also ETL or UL listed. You actually have to take the filters out and define the stamp on the frame of the filter to see if they are. There are hundreds if not thousands of restaurants across the United States that have replaced the original filters that were UL listed with new filters that are cheap, $10 filters, but unfortunately have never been tested to see if they do what they're supposed to do. That is a huge fire risk and that's something that really needs to be addre addressed in this industry.